Madison. I'll right. call the meeting to order. Would you please join me in standing and reciting the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Well, ladies and gentlemen and commission, uh, back in the fall of 2013, we volunteered to do a lighting committee study, and the, the two thoughts were, uh, thought number one was to establish in writing what our current policy is, and thought number two was to look at the future and for an adopted policy. I'm going for the jet ski. <laughs> Article 2, shall the voters authorize the cur that current taxes be paid to the town treasurer in three equal installments with due dates of August 15th, November 15th, and February 15th as authorized by 32 VSA section 4871. Do I have a motion? Uh, please make sure you speak right into the microphone so everyone can hear you. And uh, the council was criticized recently in the free press and editorial by someone that it didn't appear we were listening, so let's all just let me remind everyone on the council to just make sure that we are listening to the public and and uh, we appreciate hearing any any comments you have for us tonight and, and just uh, ask that it's done respectfully. So we'll start out with Eileen Andriel. We're looking at pushing them back because of the decrease in housing. The what? The decrease in housing. So the amount of money that we currently have and the impact fee coffers right now stands at about $71,000. Right. So it's a huge gap between what we currently have and what we need to, to build these facilities. So, I'm a Wunuski resident, a mother of two small children, and a self-employed therapist in Burlington. I've lived directly under the flight path for 10 years with my small children, and I'm deeply troubled at the thought of F-35s, which are said to be four times louder than the current sound of freedom flying over our house on a regular basis. I find it ironic that the person who made the motion and the person who seconded it are actually putting the city back in the place where we were just a month ago when we were faced with residents who had home offers, purchase offers, and we had our land development regulations, we had our, our you know, all of our planning documents sitting here going, there's a conflict and you've been put in the middle of two municipal entities and your motion, seconded, puts those homeowners directly in the middle of two municipal entities. I don't know why we don't learn from our past errors, whether it's Burlington's or ours. Let us move forward clear-eyed with our goals in mind. Any further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? I'm sorry, Ali, were you opposed or? In favor. In favor, okay. It's unanimous. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, President Shannon. I noticed that no other council members joined me in expressing reservations about having a retreat. So to the extent that we can have substantive issues to discuss at the retreat, rather than talking about our childhoods or our feelings, I think that'd be great. So I would join. I think I can commit to that, Councillor Blay. I don't have any further uh, and I don't hear any further corrections or changes to that, that, that whole paragraph of definition, so we'll move on to the next piece. We're going to put a big check mark on that and move on.